everybody. So today we are looking at the newest animated film to be released in theaters. We're looking at the Lego Batman movie and this is a rare sort of spin-off that I think manages to do, uh, you know, spin-offs are really tricky things uh, because you, know, you just take a, a small character that works well uh, and then you give them their whole own movie. It can be a it can be a risky thing, like we saw with Minions, but like Finding Dory did it well, and uh, I was you know kind of nervous. I'm not the biggest Batman fan in the world, and so I didn't know if if I would like the sole focus being on Batman in this Lego Batman movie, uh, but I was certainly excited and the trailers had gotten me very intrigued and I loved the original Lego movie. I thought it was so visually inventive, the way that the, the Legos moved and flowed. I thought it was so funny and then I thought it had tremendous heart and sort of the message of the special and and a showing sort of the randomness of a child's play and how uh, the uh, little boy ends up explaining his world to his father. And the movie, just so many, many, many layers uh, of to enjoy it on. And it's, it's just one of the most rewatchable animated films of recent years and I think it was absolutely one of the worst snubs in recent memory that it wasn't nominated for Best Animated Film. So I loved the original and so that was a lot to leave up to and in my opinion the Lego Batman movie uh, is a is a really fun energetic uh, good great movie good movie but not quite as good as the original <laughs> but that's okay I don't think it had to be Batman fans will particularly love it they're just they go for broke for literally the first white screen and uh, to the you know, Warner Brothers logo to everything uh, the the commentary from Batman is hilarious Will Arnett is so good in the vocal work and it's basically a story about how Batman uh, needs to let go of his pride and allow other people to help him and so you get all these different characters coming in and all trying to kind of show him that he needs help and he can't do it alone and you have Michael Cera voicing Robin uh, Dick Grayson and he's great so funny you have uh, Ray Fiennes voicing uh, Alfred and that's really good uh, you have uh, Rosario Dawson uh, voicing Barbara Gordon all of that works and then you also have this plot line of uh, the Joker voiced by Zach Galifianakis who uh, wants Batman to admit that that he needs the Joker, that, that the Joker is the ultimate foe. And there's some really funny jokes where, where Batman's not willing to admit it and he says, well, who's your ultimate foe? And he says, Superman. <laughs> and so there's some funny jokes, uh, some digs at Batman v Superman I thought were really funny. Uh, there's a lot of poking fun at all of the Batman films, even going all the way back to the 40s, like ones I haven't seen. I think there's some stuff that was even lost on me because I'm not like, that hardcore. There were some uh, jokes and some minor characters and, and, and Easter eggs and things like that, but it didn't matter because the movie wasn't leaning on those uh, and it didn't really repeat the same joke that often. It was just constantly giving you something new and inventive and so that made it just a really enjoyable experience to watch and it, I really did laugh a lot. So the script is solid and it actually has some really good action. The fight scenes and the, there's the sort of the group scenes of the way that they're done uh, are is really entertaining. I really don't have much negative to say. It's a very entertaining film. I think it is a little bit less visually impressive than the Lego movie. I mean, the Lego movie just literally everything they touched, you'd see movement in the Legos and the pieces and things, and they dive into water and you'd see the the wave become Legos and things and, and I, you just didn't see that as much here and I don't know if that's because they were trying to keep it uh, to looking like a comic book kind of a feel and so it less and less like Legos and also there's just something about it that just doesn't feel quite as memorable to me it's not as rewatchable as the original Lego movie uh, it didn't you know make me want to tear up it didn't have that quite that heart although it does have it does have some real heart to it. It does. Uh, but I don't know. It's just not as sort of 
it's just not as much of a game changer as the original Lego movie was for me at least and uh, where that was something new and different and uh, and just enjoyable on so many layers and levels and so for me I give the Lego Batman movie a B plus it is very entertaining it is very funny it is very well done great vocal performances throughout uh, it's just just not quite as good as the original <laughs> that's really the only flaw I have with it uh, so let me know what you think of the Lego Batman movie where are you at it and I'm going to be doing my review of the Lego movie for family movie night on Sunday so look forward to that and uh, thanks so much please subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you later bye